This study proposes a new method for preventing losses of Jabuticaba fruit surplus by using immobilized Acetobacter acidi and Gluconobacter oxidin cells to produce Jabuticaba vinegar. The pulp of Jabuticaba was processed, and Saccharomyces cerevisiae CCMA 0200 was used to ferment the must for Jabuticaba wine production. Sugars, alcohols, ethanol and glycerol, organic acids, and volatile compounds were assayed using high-performance liquid chromatography and gas chromatography flame ionization detector. The ethanol content of the produced Jabuticaba wine was approximately 74.8 g/l, 9.5% by volume, after 168 hours of fermentation. Acetic acid fermentation for vinegar production was performed using a mixed culture of immobilized acid CCT0190 and G-oxidants CCMA0350 cells, resulting in an acetic acid yield of 74.4% and productivity of 0.29 G-L.H. The vinegar had particularly high concentrations of citric, 6.67 G-L, malic, 7.02 G-L, and succinic, 5.60 G-L, acids, which gave a suitable taste and flavor to the vinegar. 17 compounds, including aldehydes, higher alcohols, terpene, acetate, diether, furans, acids, ketones, and ethyl esters, were identified in the Jabuticaba vinegar. In conclusion, vinegar was successfully produced from Jabuticaba fruits using yeast and immobilized mixed cultures of A-acidy and G-oxidins, making this the first study to use a mixed culture of immobilized cells for the production of Jabuticaba vinegar. This article was authored by Disney Ribeiro Diaz, Monique Suela Silva, Angelica Cristina de Souza, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.